Good morning. Start the day. gonna start our day off. You know how I like to start my day off reading the Bible and uh, reading devotion. Martha read this morning, she told me, uh, she said to live a Christian life in your own strength and not trusting in the Holy Spirit and the faith to lead you. It's like having a new car full of gas and everywhere you want to go, you push the car. <laughs> You don't trust God and you don't put your faith in Him so you never start the motor. You just get out and push it yourself. We're saved, we've got all the fire of the Holy Spirit, yet we're doing it in our own strength. And it's like pushing the car instead of cranking the motor and uh, running it. So let me read my devotions, then we're gonna get started, uh, started working on the farm. My dogs, my animals, my farm animals. I got farm animals, I got cats and dogs. And they always greet me in the morning. Billy, you having a bad hair day, girl. <coughs> Jack! Jack, talk to me, Jack. Jack, talk to me. <coughs> Ooh, talk to me, Jack. Jack, talk to me. Talk to me, Jack. <coughs> talk to me. There is our cat. So it's my job every morning to feed the animals and take out the garbage. And we have a basketball here. We don't have a basketball goal, but these dogs love to play basketball. Woo, get him thorn. Get him thorn. Get him thorn. It's so funny because he got an overbite. He can't bite the thing. Get him thorn. Get him thorn. Woo. All right, let's play. Let's play. He's a good goalie, watch him. <laughs> ah, I got it over. <laughs> Woo! We got a cheering squad. All right, drop it, drop it, drop it. Here we go. Oh, what a goalie. <laughs> Woo! You a good soccer, he's a good soccer player. Hello, <laughs> 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 soccer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, boy. All right, boys, let's go to the office and see what we got going on this morning. I need to shoot my bow a little bit. Don't get hair all in here. We got a dead deer or two in here. How y'all doing this morning? Come on, buddies. I've been working with a TV show called The Way It Was. And, uh, the primary purpose of that TV show is to have fun, share life kind of the way it was back in the good old days. And uh, part of the way of life in the good old days was conventional archery. And so now I have taken up <laughs> longbow. This is all instinct. <laughs> it's crazy. And so I'm not very good at it. So I try to practice uh, every opportunity I get. I, I, uh, I was coming out here and shooting for an hour and trying to really learn. And that hadn't done me much good. So what I found does really good for me is to shoot uh, five or six arrows, and that's it. As you can see, I'm all over the place. My first shot was my best shot by far. Ah, pretty good shot, but that's kind of the way it goes. We're gonna go uh, over to the tractors and we're gonna go to work. All right, boys, fun's over, it's work time now. We got to go. <laughs> 
time to go eat lunch, so we're going to put the tractor up, go eat a little taco soup. Martha called me and said, hey, I got you and Timmy some taco soup. Jack's like me, he loves to eat. All right, you boys get on the cart. Get on there. You don't play with tractors and bush hogs with puppy dogs and children. Tractor 1979 and missed a lick. I don't have any handbrakes, so I'll make sure it's not gonna roll. Getting the job done. What you think, boys? Y'all ready to eat? I know y'all ready to eat. All right, Mothy's Kitchen. Mothy, what we got for dinner? We got venison taco soup. Venison taco soup. Yeah. I need an order for two. Look at Take your venison taco soup, put a little mixed cheese, sour cream, and we got taco chips, and we got venison taco soup. All right, we're gonna have some taco soup now. So we're through playing. Y'all come back and see me when I'm fatter. Woo, look at that pretty boat. Don't you wish you had a pretty boat like that, Jack? I'm going fishing tomorrow on Lake Murray. So I got my rods set up. I got spinning rods. Got some eight pound test line. Got a little fret side bait on that one. Got some 10 pound line. Got a little fret side on that one. Got a little uh, lipless crankbait on this one. That is a really, really good choice, and you can almost crawl it on the bottom if you got a clean bottom. If you don't, you're gonna hang up. But, uh, so I'm, I'm getting everything set up. All right, we got it all ready to go to the lake. I'm going tomorrow, so stay, stay. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna start out. I'm gonna probably start out, I'm gonna check the water temperature. You know, Jack, I've told you, sit down, Thorne, I'm talking to you too. I'm doing a seminar, you guys need to be reverent, respectful, and listen to my seminar. Listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, no, I don't want to shake hands. I want you to listen. We're going to start out tomorrow. We'll watch what the water temperature is. Then we're going to try and locate the bait. Now, I'm going to Lake Murray, and Lake Murray's got both shad and blueback herring. But those bass really follow those blueback. So I'm going to try to find the blueback, and then once I locate where the bait is, then I'm going to start trying to figure out what tool, and I call my lure a tool. You understand that, boys? I'm going to figure out what lure, what tool I have that would most thoroughly fish that cover. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going tomorrow in the morning. And y'all can't go this time. But if you keep listening to my seminars and get all this stuff figured out, you can go with me next time. Is that going to work for you? You still love me? All right. Tell everybody bye, and we appreciate you watching us on YouTube. We have a big time.